This week on At Home in Faith, I chatted with Barb Leap, Director of Music and Liturgy at Our Lady of Grace in Noblesville, Indiana, about the Advent season and what it means for us as Christians. Advent is a time for us to prepare for the coming of Jesus, coming of our Lord, not only at Christmas, but also the second coming. Uh, blessed hope for the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ as we hear in the liturgy every week. We wait for the coming of our Lord Jesus. The Old Testament has the readings from Isaiah in the beginning, the wonderful poetry and imagery of Isaiah. Um, we hear from John the Baptist telling us to prepare the way. And again, that's not just prepare the way of the Lord at Christmas time, that's also preparing our hearts and uh, preparing for the second coming of Jesus. I recently read something that they had said in preparing our hearts for the coming, and especially for the second coming. When you listen to those readings, keep both of those factors in mind as you hear the readings during the season, uh, because maybe there's more things that you can do as a part of your faith community and getting involved, because at the end of the season when Christmas is all over with and nothing has changed, have you really prepared your heart for Jesus? And that's, that's something to really think about, I think. That preparation means uncluttering, getting rid of things that maybe keep us away from Jesus um, and our God. So um, taking a little more time for prayer, maybe attending um, confessions as a family, preparing yourselves to unclutter, one of my former pastors, Father Richard Weisenberger, would always start the Advent season by saying, turn your radio off, ride around in the car in silence, and let that time just settle in. Let there be some quiet time, because we know that this season gets crazy with the shopping and the cooking and all the other things, the parties, but maybe not this year, we won't have parties. But still, it's hard to do. I've tried to do that, and we are so used to being bombarded with the outside world and music and advertisements and things of that nature that we oftentimes don't know what to do with that silence. So we can really begin to prepare our hearts, I think, by settling in and listening to the silence. I found a neat uh, website, catholicicing.com, and she had some wonderful things to do during Advent with the families. For instance, we know there's some wonderful feast days during the Advent season. We have the Feast of St. Nicholas on December 6th. Um, we have, of course, the Immaculate Conception on December 8th, St. Lucy on December 13th. Maybe you could make St. Lucia buns or make something together as a family. But during that time, <clears throat> excuse me, also make saint ornaments. Be creative with the kids and make some ornaments to hang on the tree. Um, create a Jesse tree. Well, and obviously lighting candles on an Advent wreath, the home Advent wreath. Um, again, going back to the liturgy, as of December 17th, we begin to hear the O antiphons, and there's one antiphon or one verse that is said traditionally before the Magnificat during evening prayer. What are the O antiphons? O come, O come, Emmanuel. O come, O tree of Jesse. And so maybe as you light your candles on the Advent, wreath at home before your meal. If you've got singers in the family, sing a verse of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. I say that, of course, as a musician. Oh, here was another good, instead of elf on the shelf, and where's the elf gonna be each day? When you set up your nativity scene at home, put Mary and Joseph and the donkey far away. And then every little bit, they can move, maybe every day or every couple of days, they're moving closer and closer as you recall their journey to Bethlehem. Your family discussion questions for this week are, what does it mean to enter into joyful anticipation in our hectic, frantic world? What value is there in waiting? How can your family slow down and observe Advent in a more prayerful and meaningful way this year? And Jesus tells us to be watchful and alert for his return. What does being watchful look like in the life of a disciple? How is grace already present in your life? And I leave you with this challenge for your family this week. Get out your Advent wreath and set it in a prominent place in your home. Each evening, perhaps before dinner, light one of the Advent candles and pray as a family. From all of us at the Diocese of Lafayette in Indiana, may God continue to bless you and your family during this Advent season. I think that the words 
to the hymn, a very ancient hymn, The Advent of Our King, really describes Advent very well. The advent of our King, our thoughts must now employ. Then let us meet him on the road with songs of holy joy. The co-eternal Son, a maiden's offspring see, a servant's form Christ putteth on to set his people free. In glory from his throne, again will Christ descend, and summon all who are his own to joys that never end. Our joyful praises sing to Christ, who set us free. Like tribute to the Father, bring, and Holy Ghost to thee. <laughs> 